part 51 of laravel and series in which we are creating the multi vendor e-commerce website so in this video we are going to download the multi vendor e-commerce template okay so that we can start working on the front end and i have already shown you the uh, preview of the front end but now this time we are going to download the template and we'll check again that what's going uh, what's we are going to do in the front end and also we are going to uh, do the minor updates in admin panel okay so let's start uh, so first thing is uh, i'm going to tell you the steps that we are going to take to download the template so you need to open the website sidemakers.in okay so this is the website uh, that I have shown you earlier as well if you are the if you have followed that basic and advanced e-commerce series that you know that we have downloaded the template from this website okay so you can click on download link here and see uh, you can see here download multi vendor e-commerce HTML responsive template you can click here login to download okay so after clicking on this link it will take you to the another page uh, where username and password you need to fill okay so here uh, you need to fill the username and password username will remain the same that is the stack developers okay and password is laravel 9 with amit okay i'm going to mention you here as well uh, username is uh, stack developers okay and password is laravel 9 with amit okay all in small letters okay uh, i'm going to make it big so that it will be clear to you i hope it is clear to you username is strike developers and password is laravel 9 with amit all are e all is in small okay so i'm going to give this one here laravel 9 with Okay, I'm going to log in now. It will ask you to update password. Not now. Okay, so it's your wish if you want to save it. Okay, so now it again take you back to that page. You can close the model pop-ups and you can click now in download link and here this time you can see the link has been changed to the click here to download okay so it's free of course you can able to download the multi vendor e-commerce stm responsive template that i have made for you okay so now you can uh, click here to download and the template will download in few seconds now you can see the download has been started okay so it is downloading the package okay you can see the download has been done now we can go to the downloads folder and here it is we can simply unzip this one multi vendor eShop template okay so you can go inside and you can see the complete has been downloaded okay so uh, you can uh, see rearrange it as per your own choice okay so here you can see the index.html all the files are here index after that listing after the detail okay uh, a single product detail okay then shopping cart see all the pages are here okay you can see and we are going to click on the index estimate to review the package okay here i can clear this one okay so here i able to download okay this template you can also download at your end okay so you can see the template and here you can see the clothing categories all our subcategories and everything is there like i have shown you earlier okay so uh, this is really the good template and we can click on the clothing uh, we can click on here and you can see the listing here listing is coming and it is having different views okay here are the views you can see the filters as well coming here at the left sidebar and after that we can click here now see the detail page how attractive it is okay complete de detail page is here okay with reviews and everything okay so we can now go to the card page uh, okay add to card so we can change from here also uh, or we can simply uh, click on the template okay here we can go from here the card page that we are going to make this is the card page okay look looks very attractive 
and after that checkout page we are going to see the checkout page as well this is the checkout page that we are going to do and also we are going to see the login register page as well vendor login is also there you can see the vendor login register uh, for the vendor as well okay and customer login as well okay so almost all the pages are here so we are going to follow this template okay i hope that you are able to download these steps just you require to uh, download from this website sidemakers.in okay uh, so you can download from this website sidemakers.in and uh, see a few minor updates uh, we are going to do in for our admin panel in this video see uh, we are going to remove this logo we are going to remove the un unwanted con content here like connect using facebook is not required don't have an account create not required keep me signed in we can disable for now forget password we can remove okay and uh, okay so let's quickly do these minor changes in admin panel uh, that we have not done in first 50 parts but we are going to update the admin panel side by side uh so see these few minor changes you can do easily at your end uh, okay you can go inside here uh, admins okay so here it is login okay so uh this one connect using facebook and don't have an account is not required you can simply remove this don't have an account this one also you can remove see forgot password is also not required you can also remove this one okay so keep me signed in that we can do later on uh, okay so we can keep this one we can simply command this one okay this part and now we are going to check here okay so everything is removed and here sky dash template we can remove or you can set your own logo here you can replace your logo here okay uh, so in the meantime I can remove I don't have any logo uh, as of now so I can simply remove or we can also uh, give here some test okay so I have removed it for now uh, okay so now it is fine okay so now I'm going to log in now Add admin at the top admin.com password is one two three four five six okay so here also on the top uh, I'm going to remove this logo okay we you can replace it with your own logo or simply give uh, right here anything like admin panel and okay so let's first and also this image image we are going to show the admin image we are not going to show this image we are already having the admin image you can see in update details we are already showing the admin details so that image uh, we are going to show okay here so that image we are going to show if you click on this one view image i have already added my image okay so uh, this we are going to show here in small okay so uh, let's open the admin header uh, i think its name is header maybe okay uh, header dot play dot php yeah here it is okay so we can uh, remove this uh, first at the sky dash logo at the top See here here it is we can simply remove this logo and this comment this logo and I'm going to put something like uh, uh, admin panel like Laravel 9 admin panel or you can put the multi vendor admin panel anything you can put you can put your website name here as well or website logo as well okay so Laravel 9 admin panel okay so here I'm going to update the image as well uh this one okay, yeah, where it is uh, we're going to check here it is phase 28.jpg so we are going to check our content in which we are showing the admin image it is coming from the auth guard admin okay so we are already having it uh, so this is the image that we are going to show here uh, okay so we are going to show this image here so simply uh, we are going to remove this tag and we are going to make it uh, image source okay image source okay and here everything we can remove like this and also we can remove this one okay, now see uh, it has given a 
curled profile we can also give curled profile and uh, take this to here admin update admin details okay so in here we are going to put its url admin url okay so that admin details can be uh, uh, we can able to go to the admin details here okay you can see the image has been updated so the image of the person who log in will come if the vendor is going to log in then vendor image will come if the admin is going to log in then admin image will come and also its link will come like uh, uh, if he assess the dashboard then if we click here uh, then uh, see uh, okay so settings is coming uh, okay its link is not visible here uh, okay so we can see if settings uh, we can able to open uh, update admin details in settings so let's see uh, if we can able to go here in settings uh, okay so now we are going to check here see after clicking this one if we click on setting then it will go to the update admin details okay and if we are going to click on logout then it will log out the admin okay so these are the minor changes and uh, see one of the change uh, yeah one more change is there see the cancel button one of my friend imran told me about this one this one we have left cancel button is working as a submit okay so we need to correct this cancel button is working as a submit so it is not good at all see here see cancel is working as a submit so uh, for all cancel buttons like in update admin details we are going to make it type reset okay so simply make it type reset for all the cancel button in the admin panel okay now we are going to refresh here see now i'm going to cancel here like if i have made some changes here i have updated the name then i think like no no i'm not going to do any changes so i click on cancel same thing will come back again okay so cancel a button you can simply give it type reset okay so same thing you can do for all the pages where you are updating the data like for update password as well for update product details as well okay so you can open all the cancel uh, okay so you can modify it I would like update admin password so simple it is very simple just you need to give it type reset okay nothing uh, nothing else to do like type reset for all the cancel button in the website okay so you can also search uh, this button like you can search this one like this or one more thing you can do very easy thing like you can just find and replace all okay it will save your time and you can replace in the complete website okay complete admin panel sorry uh, not here here we are going to like this okay so i am going to put here the uh, our admin folder okay so i am going to put here zap sd talks where is my project folder sorry project folder i am going to put uh, okay where it is personal and ecom 9 is our folder okay i'm going to do like this then replace see it will take few seconds okay replace 18 occurrences across 14 files so we are going to click on replace and we'll do the file save all and now we are going to check that it updates everywhere or not i will check in products okay so here uh, like uh, uh, if we want to uh, try edit okay so here if i will type something like test so i'm going to click on cancel so it is working fine so it has been updated everywhere you can see it is working fine it just we uh, click uh, on cancel then uh, nothing is visible okay 
so the complete i think everywhere we able to do okay edit this one here if someone write like this then cancel then it's working fine okay so these things you can do at your end laravel 9 admin panel show your admin image admin or vendor image and uh, remove the logo or update your logo and uh, see cancel button correct the cancel button okay so in next video we are going to start merging our new template uh, that is our new template that we are going to merge for our multi vendor e-commerce website starting from the home page we are going to merge each and everything okay so i'm going to tell you that how we can merge like the header footer we are going to set okay uh, like we have done for the any panel so same thing we are going to uh, do in the front end as well so stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye